Welcome to a new episode of Sean Resolute. Today's video is unboxing this new drink Fit Aid. It is a recovery drink. If you're unaware of the brand, um, they're really popular here in America. I've been drinking them for a few years over here. There's all different ones. Cornelius, I don't need to lick it. Go away. Uh, a few different ones. And I've been I've been drinking the the black and the white one, which is the RX creatine one. Now, so FitAid sent me a message saying about the new FitAid RX and RX Zero Sports Recovery Blends. Um, they've upgraded. They now feature Crea Bev creatine, which is the most stable form of creatine on the market, apparently. Uh, the great flavouring is tastier than ever. Um, yeah, so that is about it. Um, so they asked me to do it. They sent me this this box, and yeah, I'm intrigued. It says ice cold. Like I said, they've been in the fridge, so we're gonna crack on. So here we go. All right. First one looks like this. Sour grape, it's got a little picture. So the other ones are very similar. Um, I just don't think they've got the little picture there. Improved formula, flavor, sour grape, 40 mg of caffeine, five calories per can. And then branch chain amino acids, electrolytes, vitamin B, C, D3, E. Um, yeah, a lot of other stuff. I'll put it all in the description. That's what that one looks like. And then we've got the other one. A piece of paper. And we've got the black one. Again. Both of them, we got the picture on the um, of the grapes. Look very similar, other than that, creatine plus. So yeah, suppose it is time for the taste test. Thanks. All right, creatine plus. All right, I'm going to start with the black one. Let's see how this one goes. Problem is with like cam ones like this, it means I'm going to have to drink both of these now. All right. First one. Oh, that, that is, I like it. Emily. It's definitely sour. Really? Yeah. I don't know if, I like it. I don't want to be on camera if they just have a shower. All right, Emily's testing it here. Um, yeah, I don't mind that really either, actually. Not too bad on the fake sugar, which I don't like. Yeah, Emily um, doesn't like whatever it's called. What's it called? Uh, stevia, but I also don't like the, yeah, like the sucralose and stuff like that. There is some stevia leaf extract, but not, um, there's also regular sugar in it, or agave nectar. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't really like grape flavored things either, but like it's not bad. Well, it's an improved formula. Ooh. Do you want to try the other one? Yeah. All right, here we go. Gun dog. All right, so this is the white one. I forget, how are these different again? Uh, maybe sugar free. Oh yeah. All right, so that one was the sugar one. This one is zero sugar. I probably won't like that one. Every time I buy these, I always just mix them up. One day I get the black one, one day I get the white one. Um, so you, Emily don't think she's gonna like this one because she doesn't like uh, fake sugar. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Oof. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna like this mm, one. Really? I I don't mind it. I don't mind it. The black one's definitely better. 
black one's definitely better. Oh yeah, no. Black one? Yeah, the black one. The black one I could drink. Alright, let's it. let's get Emily's ratings on this. Black one out of ten. Um I would say like an eight. Eight. Eight good. out of ten. Um personally I'd give it like a like a two or three, but that's just my own opinion, I'm sure. People that can't have sugar would be a great yeah, Great there's option. definitely, this one definitely has a bit more of like an aftertaste. Yeah. Compared to this one. Yeah. I would drink the black one, which is not yeah. very common for me. I, I would say, I like the black one. I would, I'd probably be the same, um, like an eight. Yeah. Like I said, I've always drank the um, the Fit Aid ones, and they taste the nicest out of all the ones kind of reviewed, really. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one, this one not so much. I, I would, I don't know, probably like a four for me. Yeah, eight out of ten, four out of ten. There is a little bit of a, an aftertaste um, that I'm not super keen on. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think on that one. Um, yeah, I've drank quite a lot of these. <laughs> I've drank half a can. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think I think that's about it. I'll put I'll put as much information in there as I can. It's been a while since I've done uh, one of these one of these sort of uh, reviews, so it's kind of nice to get back. Since I did my Achilles, I've not really needed needed them um, with my training. But now that I'm getting back into it, um, yeah, I've been drinking them a little bit more. So, all right, to conclude, sugar, RX, Fit Aid, non-sugar, Fit Aid, um, RX. So with creatine, if you're unfamiliar with what creatine is, go and do a little bit of research and yeah, it just helps. Just helps, especially when um, you beat yourself up. All right, what do you think, Gondog? What's your review? No, that's not a review. Black one? All right. What about the white one? No, he's off. Gondog doesn't like the white one. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. If you can like, subscribe, much appreciated, and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.